React server components are coming in hot, but sadly, using them kind of sucks if you're a TypeScript dev because all of the TypeScript benefits with mounting and rendering components of even just basic things like checking the types of your props hasn't worked now for over eight months. Because these fixes have taken so long, a lot of the code I'm writing right now isn't type safe. And I am in constant pain seeing dumb errors that a red squiggly line could have saved, which is crazy to think that just mounting a component in the new React model isn't type safe. It's scary and it sucks, but that just got fixed with the newest TypeScript beta. And I cannot wait for 5.1 to drop because of the stuff they're changing with JSX. So first I wanna show off the problem. Let's say we have this random async component using the new React model. It's not doing anything async, but we're just gonna go along with it, okay? It still is technically async, but it's not doing anything that's blocking. So let's go render this. I'm gonna delete all the junk in here because we don't need it for this example. We're gonna drop this guy in here. We're getting a type error. What's going on? If we hover this, you'll see with our new favorite plugin, some async component cannot be used as a JSX element. Its return type promise element is not a valid JSX element, but it is. JSX is just a way to call functions and React has chosen to allow it to call async functions. This type is incorrect. React can do this and can handle this. So as such, the current expectation on how we deal with this is to tell TypeScript to expect an error. And this sucks. This is really bad. And you'll see across pretty much every server component code base that's using TypeScript, a bunch of these types of things, which cool, great, solves the problem, right? It gets worse. Let's go back into here and give this component some props. We'll say this has message string. See where this problem gets bad? So when we go back here, nothing because we're telling TypeScript to expect an error. So not passing the prop that it needs, the message prop is erroring quietly and we don't see it. So we just forgot to put a prop here and this code breaks now. Or let's say we gave it something wrong, like message equals seven and we wanted to have dot length. Here. So now I'm passing a string here as far as this component's concerned. And we go here, we're passing it something that is not that type. It thinks message is string, but we're passing it seven. It is not erroring because we told it to expect an error. This just breaks TypeScript in the React experience. And now when I hide that, we get the two errors. We see this numbers assignable to string. Cool, we can fix that. But that doesn't fix this which sucks. It sucks really hard. And I, I have been annoyed for a long time now that this is the case. So what happened? What changed? Well, if we take a look at the release notes for the TypeScript 5.1 beta, more importantly, this particular PR, the new JSX element type for valid JSX elements, the specific goal of this PR was to make it so that frameworks using JSX like React can redefine the JSX element type in order to expect something else. So you'll, rather than just expecting additional JSX elements, you can expect a string, a number, a promise, or any of these other cool things that a framework like React might expect you to return in JSX. And the result is dope because now we have way more cool things we can do with React. I think they talk about it a bit more here. Yeah, the JSX elements and JSX tags. So specifically, the JSX element, which is the brackets and the way of calling a thing, is typed separately from the inside piece that it returns, which allows us to expect different JSX element types in a JSX element. So weird separation. It's not something that we as the developers consuming JSX should expect to understand or care about, but it is the details that allowed for this change to happen. And the end result is that we can now use better type definitions in React. So if we come back to this file after Maple's changes, we'll see that we are getting an error. What's going on there? Oh, that one's familiar. Property subscribe to Theo is missing in type message string. Well, uh, we'll have to fix that. Maybe if y'all had subscribed, we wouldn't still be getting these type errors. Get on that, helps us out a ton. Subscriptions are free, hit that button. Anyways, now we have all of the things we expect when we create and use components, even though this component is async. 
I'm able to have properties. I'm able to make changes here. I can change message to content and immediately get a type error over here and here. All the, the things you expect from TypeScript fixed with one simple pile of hacks for now. And again, you won't need this in the near future. It is here now if you want it though. And I'll probably be throwing this in all my code bases for the next few weeks because I need this shit. Anyways, I couldn't be more hyped. It's so cool to finally have async components and all the cool things that come with them, like suspense, the ability to render different UI here when this async component is going. And now this thing will load and stream in the response while showing the loading state, whatever component or text I put here. And I have type safety the whole way through. As far as I know, this is the first time ever we have had a fully type safe streamed data to client solution with markup and fetching and everything else we expect in the same code base with inferred type safety from one side to the other. The result is magical. It is so nice working with these tools to build. And my one remaining gripe, the type safety has now been resolved. From here on, we just have some more features to add. Things like pagination, server actions, and a bit more fun stuff coming soon. But this is one of the biggest blockers for me in pushing server components harder. And I am certainly going to be using them more after these changes. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about how important server components are, I have a video about it right there. I think it's a really good one. You don't need to write APIs anymore. So give that a shot if you haven't. Thank you guys as always. Peace nerds.